Good evening and welcome to RFL. I'm Andrew Whitman on what has been a busy news day. In just a few minutes, we'll head to Lower Manhattan where our Richard French will kick off our extended coverage of the corruption trials of Sheldon Silver and Dean Skelos. But first, yet another mass shooting. This time it happened at a social services facility in San Bernardino, California. At least 14 people are dead, another 14 are injured. Brandy Hitt has more. <laughs> Shot like crazy. First responders rushing to the scene of an active shooting unfolding inside the Inland Regional Center in San Bernardino, California. Up to three people had entered the building and had opened fire on people inside of the building. Upwards of 14 people that are dead and upwards of 14 people that are injured. She said the guy shot next, came in next to her office and I guess started shooting. This man says his wife was in an office next to the building. She managed to escape safely when gunfire broke out shortly before noon. They locked themselves in in her office. Uh, they seen bodies on the floor and, and she said right now ambulance are taking people out in, in stretchers. Our daughter's in there. Uh, she texted us about 30 minutes ago and said that there was a shooter. She thought he'd shot 10 to 20 people and they were uh, um, Hiding. According to authorities, so far there are reports of multiple victims. The FBI and ATF joining the local SWAT team. Their priority now, evacuate and clear any remaining victims from the building. I know one of your questions is going to be, is this a terrorist incident? I will tell you right now, we do not know. President Obama reacting to the news during an interview with CBS. Obviously our, our hearts go out to the victims and, and, and the families. The one thing we do know is that uh, you know, we have a pattern now of, of mass shootings in this country that uh, has no parallel anywhere else in the world. Authorities have not identified the suspects firing long guns or a motive. The building that came under fire behind me does house county offices and also an organization that helps the developmentally disabled. Brandy Hitt, ABC News, San Bernardino, California. And we are monitoring developments in San Bernardino. We'll bring you updates if and when they are available. And of course, we'll have more on RFL coming up in the coming days. Up next, we're going to shift gears to New York politics. Rich had spent this day at the federal courthouse in Lower Manhattan covering both the Silver and Skelos corruption trials. When we return, we'll talk to lawyers about the legal aspects of the cases and speak with the top reporter on what this all means for Albany. Stay with us. <laughs> 